Located inside Clark C, Colorado State University students from a wider range of majors were selected to attend this formal evening dinner event. Feature reporter Mary Alfred here interviewed some of the selected few students who are invited to Joel McDonald's inauguration and celebration of their achievements made here at CSU. All right, awesome, and we are rolling. Okay, can I just have you say your name, maybe explain why you're here? Hi, I'm Carla. I'm the ROTC leader here at Colorado State University. What's up, Barstool? My name's Alex James. Uh, what's my fucking last name? Plutus. I'm always faded, so I forget. The boys call me Buzzer because I'm always faded. As I said, yeah, so I'm the president of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity. Okay, well, I'm Erica. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, to be honest. All right, well, uh, I'm Herb Green. I'm here because I'm pretty lit. Uh, Department of Plant Sciences chose me because I'm just like the raddest dude. Yeah. Why are you here? Well, I'm here because I'm doing a story on the event. Oh, that's yeah. great. But my major's undeclared, so. You know, oh, why is it undeclared? You know, uh, just haven't found something that really inspires me yet. Very so you to take that back. Yeah. What's in your bag? Oh, this is my bong. It's like my best friend. You, you brought a bong? A formal dinner event? Yeah, of course I do. I don't, they don't While there can be friend. more said about who selected to attend, without further ado, let's get right into this dinner event. Don't be alarmed, everyone. It's just a slight electrical mishap expected on a night like this when it's fairly stormy outside. Welcome to our special dinner recognizing the great achievements all of you have made here at CSU. Bro, who even are you? I'm Joel McDonald, the president of CSU, who has brought this group together to celebrate your achievements. Let's feast on these fine meals and get to know each other, the best of the best that CSU has to offer. Yeah, I'm ready to chow down. everyone. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous meal as much as I did and I want to take this opportunity to once again thank you for everything you've done for CSU. So as we leave I would just like to say congratulations to each and every one of you and thank you to Colorado State University. Here's our toast. Cheers! Not good, y'all. It's a fucking party foul, dude. He's dead. He is dead. And I think this is what killed him. Is that a fucking dart? Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Me too. Yeah, me too. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Okay. As a future five-star general for the U.S. Army, I'm taking control of the situation. Okay? This is now an active crime scene. Chill out, dude. Get, get in there. Are you serious? Right now, everyone. Who is she yelling at? You all are freaking suspects. Go! Look at him. He's in like a loser gamer. So of all of us, who else would it be? Okay, first of all, my name is Nick. Just because I'm not lifting every day, just because I'm not playing sports or 
Just because I'm not in a frat doesn't mean I killed somebody. Okay, but you called me a Stacy the other day? So I don't think you gave up the vibe. Hey guys, come know. look at this. Looks like the poison in the dart was amatoxin. We learned about it in my human chem class. Sorry, but am I crazy to think that you might be the killer? None of us would know about that. Emma, what? Look, just because I know a lot about it doesn't mean I'd ever use it to kill someone. I don't know where to, I don't even know where to find amatoxin. It comes from rare mushrooms. All right, all right, we're getting nowhere. <sighs> Everyone has to stop blaming each other. Okay, what we're going to do is everyone is going to find an empty room and we're going to sit there and wait and I'm going to come around and interrogate each and every one of you, one by one. Everyone go find a room, let's go. Why did you kill the president? Why would you think I killed him? I don't even know the guy. I don't know any of you guys. Did the president say that he didn't like your dress? Yes, which was the real travesty of the night, but I wouldn't kill him over it. I'm not the suspect you're looking for, got it, okay? Even if the president kicked our frat off campus, we could still throw fucking ragers. So I don't give a shit about the president. So, that would give you motive to kill the president. The art department had private funding. Did it make us take a hit? Yes. I wouldn't kill the guy. I rarely came here just to eat food, to be honest. You, out of all these people here, you're the only person that has no reason to be here. That is enough to, you know, Mark somebody. Are you saying someone would murder them because they put them in a stinky old building? What kind of psychopath would do that? So, have you ever been to a frat party? Probably not a final one, have you? Uh, have you ever poisoned the president before? No! Why? Yeah! Yeah! Jesus fucking Christ! Let's what is going on in here? Fuck me. Oh my god, my bomb! Oh my god, he killed her with his bomb! Why would I ever break my own bar? It's my best friend. All right, guys, this is just so fucked up. Someone else just died. I'm getting out. Of, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay? Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move. Let's Come on. Let's go. fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Forget the scooter. No. Go. 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 Go.
like this dark. I knew right away that it was amatoxin. I didn't need a computer to tell me that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, shit, Micah. Stella! Stella! What? I don't think he's breathing. What the hell happened this time? He touched the dart. I didn't do anything, I swear. He was the smarter one. Not anymore. I can't believe like a bunch of people have died. People died? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I thought people died. <laughs> I think you're crazy, dude. I think you smoked too much. Did you kill them? Be honest. No. Did you kill them? Dude, you kill that girl. You killed girl. Nobody, <laughs> nobody died, dude. Just calm down. You know who to trust? No kidding. Everyone's acting so bizarre. I just came here to be inspired, you know? And everyone's nuts. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. Tell James. There's no James. Alex. and we'll be wrapped up here. Uh, we just gotta get to the climax of the story. <laughs> she said climax. Quiet on set! All right, so my name is Erica Moore and I am a journalist at CSU and I am here with the three people that are left from the killings at Clark. So, how has life been since all that happened? Well, I still have class in Clark, which is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. 
it's a bit traumatizing actually. You go to class every day and like, my best friend James died here, but I got to name his scooter after him. It saved our lives. Oh, that's very sweet. Alex. How do you not know the names of the people you were with? I, it's, it's been an emotional day. I lost a bong and a friend, okay? Named James? Named James. Okay, cool. Uh, moving on then, why do you think the killer did what they did? Why do you think they went through such great lengths to kill so many people? I insulted her shoes. Just because of her shoes? No, no, no. Some no. people have a shadow. shadow. No, it's easy. Okay. It's a big conspiracy. Look, it's a journalist. She wanted a big story go go on, and we all had reasons to dislike the press. Like we all we all secretly like didn't really like him that much. All the emails he sent out. So she got everyone that didn't like the press in one group, killed the press, and it has this big story. But then why kill everybody else too? I don't know. I don't know. I don't got the mind of a journalist. That's her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just started this job, to be honest. What about you, Nick? Do you have any thoughts? From what I heard, we're gonna have a new interim president pretty soon, and from what I heard, this Joyce person is pretty chill, so I hope they work out. Yeah, that, yeah, hopefully they do. Well, you guys all heard it here. Uh, thanks for watching, and this is CTV. Thank you. Mm -hmm.